Good morning, Mr. Polyev. Andrew Lawton, True North. The federal government has said that its uh, online harms bill is imminent. Uh, they've said this bill will include, among other things, a ban on, on so-called online hate speech. As you know, the Conservatives a decade ago repealed Section 13 of the Canadian Human Rights Act, which the Liberals ha have talked about reintroducing and, and tried in the last parliamentary term. Will the Conservatives oppose the reintroduction of these provisions and the Liberals' approach to so-called online hate speech? Yes, we will oppose Justin Trudeau's latest attack on freedom of expression. And um, I want to ask... What does Justin Trudeau mean when he says, when he says the word hate speech? He means speech he hates. So, for example, let's go through some of the things he said is hate speech. Jerry Butts, the PMO uh, puppet master, said that it was hate speech to criticize Trudeau for using the ridiculous term people kind, right? <laughs> the Justin Trudeau said anyone who criticized him during the pandemic was engaging in hate speech. Um, basically, anybody who disagrees with his radical agenda when it comes to kids, he says, is hate speech. He attacked Muslim parents who were protesting against his agenda. Is he going to criminalize those Muslim parents for protecting their children in the schools? Uh, go down the list of things that Justin Trudeau disapproves of, and you can imagine all of the things that will be criminalized. And then there becomes the question of who is going to be in charge of determining what is hate speech. Um, recently, a school board in Ontario banned Anne Frank's books. Okay? So would that be considered hate speech under Justin Trudeau's woke uh, authoritarian agenda? I think it would. So anyone who thinks that speech they don't like is going to be criminalized and therefore the bill should be supported, go through that. those people should go through the, the list of their own thoughts that Justin Trudeau cons considers to be unacceptable views, and you can assume that he will ban all of that as well. And finally, I point out the irony that someone who spent the first half of his adult life as a practicing racist who dressed up in hideous racist costumes so many times he says he can't remember them all, should then be the arbiter on what constitutes hate. Why doesn't he, what he should actually do is look into his own heart and ask himself why he was such a hateful racist for despite his enormous personal privileges of a multi-million dollar trust fund, being the son of a prime minister, uh, growing up in mansions, traveling the world, why he had so much hate in his art that he was uh, such an awful racist. And what he should do is actually explain where that ugliness came from. And maybe in that way, rather than through coercion, he could uh, help in, uh, us all in the fight against real hate. Thank you.